Hey all, Heber here. So uh, in one of my uh, recent videos where I show my stat screens, uh, some of you have asked why the potential damage is so low. And uh, that's a really good question. And it has nothing to do with me. It is Wargaming's fault. And uh, I'll explain here uh, why that is and how we figured it out, because I didn't figure it out on my own. Uh, but first, uh, if you don't know what attracted damage is or potential damage, as it's uh, known these days, it's uh, the number down here in the corner, and it's pretty much uh, a number that tells you how many uh, shells uh, have landed within, I believe, 700 meters of your ship. And not just shells, also uh, torpedoes and anything else that does damage, I guess. In other words, uh, it's a measure of how many enemies are actually shooting at you. So. I guess uh, it also means how much you are spotted and uh, how much uh, you tank shells for your team. Uh, so let's go back in time here and I'll show you how the attracted damage or slash potential damage as it's known now has changed over uh, the time I've been playing Legends. So this is my first stat screenshots, well screenshot back from 2019 I guess. We can see the attracted damage is 638,000, uh, which isn't a lot, but I also just just started playing here. I only have 1,500 battles. And uh, if we then move uh, forward, probably, I don't know, a few months, the attracted damage has gone up to 640,000. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's the way it usually goes. All right, so we move forward a little bit more, and now it's nearly 680,000 uh, attracted damage. So you can see it, it goes up all the time and uh, from what I calculated back then it should stabilize at around 900,000 um, but I've kind of I think I've thrown away most of my stat screams from back then so I have this one from 5,000 where it's uh, 764 and uh, as you can see it keeps climbing and uh, I mean it makes sense because I play agile cruisers and I take a lot of potential damage uh, but then something happened between 5,000 battles and somewhere between somewhere between five and seven thousand battles, and uh, you can see once I get up to thirteen thousand battles, the potential damage, as it's called now, is the same as attracted damage, but it's changed the name in the stat screen. It's down to four hundred and eleven thousand, and that's even lower than when I began playing the game with one thousand five hundred battles. So obviously something is very wrong here, and uh, myself and another uh, face uh, well player uh, called Natural Pulpy. We looked into this and we discussed this a lot and we had a lot of ideas and maybe it had something to do with the ships we played or who knows, whatever it could be. Uh, but it wasn't really until you could download the stats that we could actually figure out what was really the problem here. All right, so we just look at my latest stats here where it's 383,000 potential damage. And that's almost half of what I started out with. That's 600 and something in the beginning. So obviously something is completely wrong here. And uh, like I said, uh, Natural Poopy and myself, we figured out exactly what's wrong. Well, not exactly, but uh, we know what's wrong, really. We cannot tell exactly what's going on, but we know what the reason is. So uh, let's just look at this over the course of my whole Warships career here, because I put it into a uh, graph here. So the orange line is the value I started out with, which was 640 or something like that, whatever it was. So you can see the first 5,000 battles, it grew steadily uh, uh, towards probably 900 a million, something along those lines. And then suddenly it just uh, nose dived. So you can see now at uh, <laughs> 13,000 battles and 15,000 battles, I'm down to less than 400,000. And that's like, yeah, like I said, pretty much half of what I started out with when I started playing. So, uh, so, how, so why is that? Well, it's actually a very uh, simple explanation for this and uh, I have told Wargaming this almost three years ago and I have been you know asking again and again but uh, if you get your stats download from the World of Warships website you can see exactly what's wrong. If you look under type 1 and 3 here that's uh, the solo battles and that's what's shown in the stats screens. Well, show, well one is actually total um, battles including division battles but it doesn't matter it's the same uh, bug. So uh, aggro is, uh, you know, stat speak for potential damage. And uh, art aggro is artillery aggro and TPD aggro is torpedo aggro. And you can see here for type 1 and 3, the artillery aggro uh, is broken. 
it has been stuck at 440 billion or whatever it is for uh, in my stats and uh, natural poopy stats for more than three years and it doesn't change so uh, that number is static will never change but the torpedo aggro keeps climbing very very slowly but obviously that one is really low so uh, although the torpedo aggro keeps you know increasing because the artillery aggro doesn't work uh, the overall aggro uh, keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and uh, that's what's wrong and uh, like I said this has been an issue for nearly three years now and uh, I have along with Pulpy said it numerous times to Wargaming and uh, it's, it hasn't been fixed, it hasn't been changed and uh, it will not be changed in the upcoming stats like the improved stats we're getting soon either so um, yeah I don't know when or if this problem will ever be fixed so uh, yeah that's why that's the explanation and there's really nothing you can do about it it seems kind of random who gets hit by this uh, bug here on and who doesn't like uh, when I look at people's stats on Facebook for example I can easily see who has this bug and it's quite a lot of people um, I would guess probably half the player base has this and I don't know what causes it and I don't know how to fix it um, but this is the problem it's simply that the artillery aggro stops counting and gets stuck at one number and then when the game averages like the artillery aggro number with the torpedo aggro number you get a way lower number than you should have and uh, that's the issue so uh, I hope that explains it and uh, I'll see you out there.